The objective of this lesson is to be able to use the isText formula in Excel. And again, this is a formula that can be useful when you're checking the type of your data or when you're combining it with other formulas, for example, if statement. So let's understand how it will work on a different type of data. So first of all, you have a normal text. So we're gonna do equal isText you open the parentheses and you select your value. So we're gonna select this one. And this is a text, so it will return true. The next one is a Boolean value, which is true or false. So this is not a text. So hopefully it will return false. Next one is a text with numbers. So if you have, for example, references or you have 20 ABC or things like this, this is a text, even if it contains numbers. So this formula will return true. The next one is a number, so obviously this is false. But what I wanted to show you is those two next cases. So one case is a blank cell. A blank cell with is text is false. Although there is nothing, you could think that the data type of this is a text, but it will still return false. The one that will be surprising is the next one. I mean, this is a number, 20. But sometimes when you download data from system, the data looks like numbers and they are numbers but Excel takes them from the system as text. And you can see here, number stored as text. So to convert it to number, you can click here and convert it to number. But in the meantime, the is text formula will treat this as a text. And lastly, you have a date. Dates in Excel are numbers. So if I go to home, I click here, you can see that you can convert a date to a number. So when you apply the formula is text on this, you will get a false.